Okay. All right, that is fine. I think um we are we are now live on um Facebook and um, I'm going to also record this particular meeting. It's gonna be made available on all our social media platforms as well. So to begin with, um I would like to give thanks to the Almighty God for giving us today, um, for us to meet here once again as one family. Um, today we are gathering here to 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 discuss or to hear from um, um, the facilitator for today's programs on the topic um, um, future prospects for ASA and her members. I am in the person of James Sam the Vice President of Administration of the prestigious African Law Student Association. I'm a Ghanaian and a Rwandan um, um, resident assistance now. As an association, our main objective of ASA we are to draw, um, to break all law students under one umbrella because we have the strong belief that we live in a society where um, society is now turning into a global village and we need to connect with one another. Our core values are that we just have to unite, we have to teach, we have to encourage law students, we have to network to as well. So we do have um, 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 OSA chapters and members across Africa. We have. We hold annual conferences and we do moot courts and mock competitions. So basically, OSA is the only premier association in Africa that tries to do this. And in so doing, we have a whole lot of department and association with that we try to connect with people, help people do internships and all those kind of things, publish essays um, um, and, and what have you. So that is what I can say for now. I'm so much glad to be offered this latitude um, or considerable latitude at this highest office in the association. And I'm so much glad to, with respect to uh, the support I always have from the uh, OSA International Council and to our dear OSA um, ambassadors, you know, God bless you all. And I'm most grateful to be here once again to listen to um, today's program. Thank you so much and you're all most welcome. Elaxen, hello. Uh, thank you so much. Mr. James, yeah. so on our agenda, uh, we had one of the council members who is Suleiman. Uh, he needed to join us, but he's having some network issues. So I think I will proceed and render my submission. And I need to mention that this is a dialogue so if there's anybody with a question, any member with a question, then we can chat on that. So the main objective of this meeting is to uh, engage, you know, the African students, our members, and to update them um, on what has been tabled in the International Council. Sorry, by the way, my name is Laksan Chivaye, and I am the Secretary General of the uh, Alsa International Council. Yeah. So first of all, I must mention that Alsa has tabled a number of uh, the International Council has tabled a number of um, um, you know objectives. Uh, so currently we are working on partnerships and. We have also uh, entered into an agreement with Forage. Furthermore, we are also working on the competition that is the debate and the moot court. So with regards to the debate and the moot court, Solomon will address us on that as soon as he manages to log in. So I would like to talk about the partnership, okay? So this is a very rare opportunity which has been given to the African law students. All the members of ours have been given this opportunity. So, you know, we have partnered with Forage and Forage is an international organization. It has partnered with a number of 
high profile law firms across the globe. So Forage, uh, you know, they offer free internships for African law students. So if you're a member of AUSA and you want to do online internships, you are welcome in that regard. So it is very simple. You log in uh, on our website, then you will find uh, you know, the landing page for Forage. So this landing page will lead you to Forage and you open an account on that page. When you, oh, when you create an account under Forage, that is when you'll be able to access their internship. So create an account first. When you create an account, uh, they will lead you to a number of courses or internships which you would like to, to do. So there are more than 17 programs for law students. So you choose whatever um, program which you want. So this is how it works. When you, when you create an account, you go to your profile, there's a dashboard. After you create an account, there's a dashboard, which will lead you to your profile. In your profile, you'll be able to select which programs you want to do. So you choose whatever program you want to do. Um, in each and every program which you choose, a number of, you know, uh, there's a, they'll give you a number of tasks which you need to work on. So for instance, when you choose criminal law, uh, they'll give you, it should, it should be about three uh, tasks which you need to work on. So they'll give you task one. When you complete task one, you move to the next task, okay? When you do the next task, you complete it. Then you do the third one. Then when you complete all the uh, pieces of work, uh, that is when now they give you a certificate. Okay? This certificate is uploaded on your profile, which I've created with Forage. So you will be able to download your certificates from there on the profile which you have created with uh, Forage. Just a minute, let me just admit uh, some of our members. I think okay. I've, I've done that, they are joining. So just proceed, yeah. I'll be admitting yeah. them. Yeah. Suleiman is having some challenges, I don't know why. Yeah. Anyway, they'll find the recording. Um, so you will be able to download the certificates from the profile which you have created. So. On your profile, there's a link which you're going to find, which says, view your achievements. There you will find certificates. The moment you just complete the task, and if you have not done it well, they won't give you that certificate. So you need to make sure that you put in all your effort. You know, this is a very good initiative. You put in all the effort which you need for you to get that certificate. Okay. So, that is it with Forage. Uh, if there are any other questions, I think I'll get them just at the end of the program. So currently we are also working, we are also working um, with Educo. So Educo provides uh, some courses. So on this one, we are working on Educo and uh, on this one, we shall give you a feedback since currently we have AUSA Legal Education. So under AUSA Legal Education, uh, the Vice President for Administration will be able to enlighten us on that. Um, yeah, Mr. Vice President, you can come in before I move on to the next um, address which I need to, to give. 
Mr. Vice President, you may come in, please. Okay. Yeah, on um, the House of Legal Education. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, this um, this time run again. Um, let me use my 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 camera. Um, so when we, we, we are talking about the OSA um, legal education, it is a department that has been created under the African Law Student Association. And before I go on to address that particular issue, first and foremost, I would like to also say that most of the times I hear people trying to, to ask a lot of questions. Um, what is the legal status of the African Law Student Association? I would like to state it um, like, like categorically clear without any form of equivocation whatsoever. Today that the African Law Student Association started way back in 20, 2013 and it has gone through several transformational changes and now it is also. We've been duly registered under the um, Corporate Affairs Commission in Nigeria and issued with the certificate of cooperation by the um, Registrar General. So when it comes to legal issues, it's a very competent association. It is recognized in law and a lot of professors I've been under the association. They give us their guidance and we, we seek for consultations and what have you. So, so whatever thing we are doing here, we are not just um, I'm doing it because we, we want to do something. We have all the legal backgrounds. We have the professors, the doctors and the lawyers giving us all the backing. We have law firms even following us in most, most of our things. So that's what I can say for now. Then that brought about the ALSA um, um, School of Legal Studies. What is this department that we are talking about? As I've already said, we have a lot of departments under the association. We have the, um, um, we have the publicity, all right? We have the um, 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 communication department. We have the academics department. We have the, um, secret, for the secretary, you know, we have the secretary, we have, we have the, the vice presidency and all those kind of things. We brought in the OSA legal education in order to enlighten our core objective. That is, we need to educate the public and you need not be even a law student before you are um, given opportunity to pursue this particular courses that the OSA legal school um, um, of legal studies is pursuing. First and foremost, we have a, a lot of courses that we offer. Um, as it stands now, what, as it stands now, what we've put in the public, all right, involves arbitration, uh, mediation for uh, 21st century lawyers, um, um, reconciliation, all right, um, banking law, and all those kind of things. We've come out with a different um, um, courses. We've prepared the notes and everything under the guidance and and uh, hard working. Founder, um, lawyer Charles. Okay, now we are going to add human rights law. We are adding international law. We are adding criminal law. We are adding contract law, and and all those kind of things. He just sent me um, the course study for international law um, just 30 minutes ago. So these are what we do. We just educate people and we issue certificates for them. Very soon we are going to release our first certificate for people who are undertaking um, the banking law, banking law exams. They are they are currently writing the exams. And it's going to be out tomorrow. People have submitted their questions, their answers already. And that's how it is. With the certificate, we are saying that you have to pay for the certificate in respect of all the courses that you take. All right. If it is banking law, if it is um, 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 corporate, like governance, if it is um, um, human rights, criminal law, all these things you have to pay. However, we are saying that if you do um, mediation, you do mediation for, for free. We issue certificates on mediation for free. If you do mediation, you're not gonna pay a, a dime and you'll get a certificate of participation for having fulfilled the mediation course. And you know, mediation is a very is a very critical area of study. You know, once you want to enter into, most of the times you can prevent going to court. Court is a waste of time sometimes. You can sit amicably, go to the mediator, you decide among yourself, the mediator facilitate, and you come to amicable settlement without wasting much time, you know how our court systems are. Sometimes can take decades for even one case to be decided. So these are some of the things that we think we are doing it best. We educate the public that when you hear court, or it's not all issues that needs to be solved in court. Some can be solved outside the court um, um, system. So ADL is, is, is also, it's also 
also plays a very critical role in, in this legal education that they're having. And like for us, we have a professor on board who's also one of the facilitators. And I would like to say this, and he, he'll be taking peace building and, and, and management very soon. And we have one of our facilitators over here too as well. Um, Kunle, you know, I can see you are here. He's also a very prominent and renowned personality, you know, that to be um, taking some of our courses, be lecturing, you know, and, and that is all that the legal um, um, school does. So we educate people on the various of law, we issue certificates, and we think that this one, once our site is legally registered and have the legal status, if you send our certificate anywhere, you know, it you enriches your CV, you get knowledge, and you get a whole, you, you learn a whole lot of stuff. So I'll urge each and every one of you here, if you've not taken anything, any of the courses yet, it is still ongoing, just register and participate, and it's going to help you. You're not going to regret ever for participating in this um, 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 novel um, initiative under the auspices of the African Law Student Association. Having said that, I think this is all that um, the association or the department under the African Law Association does as it stands now. So I'm most grateful for this opportunity, unless there's a question that I need to answer. But in a nutshell, what I've just said is what, you know, the Asa Legal um, 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 or the Asa School of Legal Studies does. Thank you, Mr. Laxton. Shibaye. Thank you so much, sir. Um, I need to mention that a good lawyer is someone who, who doesn't take you know, who doesn't go who doesn't go to court on a regular basis, which is why we have introduced the ADR. You know, the first priority as a good lawyer, you need to go for ADR first. When you have exhausted the ADR, that is when you go to court. I think criminal law cases are exceptional to that. Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Mr. James, for the for the insight that you've given us. Um, you're, so you're welcome. The person who, who needed to enlighten us about the competitions, um, the moot court and the debate, is unable to do so because the network in Nigeria is a little bit bad. So just to uh, give you a nutshell on the moot and debate. So next year, African Law Students Association. We'll, we'll host. Hey, Mr. Bray, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, Solomon, thank you for joining. Can you hear me? Thank, Solomon. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, Solomon, thank you so much. I think you're the person we were waiting for. We want you, we want you to address us on the issues with regards to the debate and the moot court that we are currently working on. I think you're the one in charge of this. And at this point in time, I would like to call you upon and give us the uh, uh, what you have on this uh, moot and other competitions. Thank you. Solomon, can you hear me? Suleiman, can you hear me? Uh, thank you very much uh, once again. Uh, and I wish to specifically uh, extend my thanks here. Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Yes, thank you. Go ahead. Can you hear me also? Yes, Suleiman, go ahead. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, because I'm experiencing an issue over here. Yeah, so it comes to that issue. So now, uh, on that committee for the Ascent National Data Motor Competition. Yeah, we have. 
uh, we have already set of uh, our plans uh, which are ready. And as it is now, what is left for us is to have like uh, the general approval from the ISA chairman or in person of uh, uh, Mr. James to approve our activities so that we can be able to uh, uh, have the school that have uh, declared their interest to participate in the competition. And then we fix a date uh, for the actual starts of the competition, the same materials, the moot facts of the competition, the topics for the debate, uh, the modalities and the judges template are all in place. So what we are now waiting for is the final approval from the so that we can be able to at least make progress, make that happen. And, and then there are a lot of things uh, which are attached to uh, being part of this uh, international competition, uh, among which uh, the issue of, uh, uh, as we already communicated earlier, if you could remember vividly, uh, we have talked about the issue of, uh, it's going to be divided into three categories. Uh, we will have original in Abuja, and then possibly the finals will be coming off in Ghana. So as it is now, we're going to begin with the on-campus programs, whereby we're going to uh, the people the debates, the modality respective institutions, so that they can start executing the on-campus programs, whereby the best out of the best from the on-campus program will be selected by the judges from their respective faculties to represent their school at the regionals in Abuja. And then in Abuja, we are going to have what we call a regional summit of the competition. And this regional summit is being categorized into almost three activities, which is we will be having uh, the, the initial day for the position of the uh for for the arguments before the justices of the court and then there will be alsa award and gala night and then there will be alsa conference so it is at the regionals that the best out of the best teams will be pitched will be selected by the judges and then they will proceed to ghana for the finals of the competition so it is in ghana that uh, those who happens to imagine to victorious will be issued with what for participation in the competition. So for the winners, there will be one million naira for them, and then there will be certificate for particip participation, and then those who come for first runner off will be given six hundred thousand naira. That is for the first runner off, and then we will have second runner off will be given new laptops, and then each and every one of them will be issued with a certificate of participation. So this is in a nutshell uh, some of the basic things that are supposed to disclose now because it is something that has not been signed up to now, but possibly we are hoping that uh, it will be looked into within the week. So these are some of the basic things that I think are supposed to share with the house as of now. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Suleiman, for that insightful uh, address. And if there are any other questions with regards to the competitions, I think we can come in since Mr. Suleiman is having a lot of challenges. So we can come in with a question, then he answers them as soon as possible. Is there anyone with a question? with regards to the competition. Okay, I have a question. Hello? Oh, Mr. Suleiman. Mr. Suleiman. Yes. A... Um, so I can with regard... Go ahead, Mr. With regards yeah, to how... White. Hello? Can, can, can you hear me? I have a question. Yes, sir, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, yes, I'm, I want I want to find out from yes. um um Mr. Suleiman 
how many how many schools have registered so far to participate in this program how many schools okay as it is now uh we have uh we have at least uh is five group i think five or four group i think but i will check that but we have five groups and each group consists of uh six schools we get so each group consists of six schools so six uh, let's say for example like we have six times uh because the group is being categorized from group a b c d and e i think yes we have six groups and each group is being categorized is being comprised of six universities and so that is how it is as of now all right all right thank you thank you so much for this clarity okay thank you so much um so when are we likely uh to have the competitions uh the, the in-campus competitions and when are we likely to have um the the, the official uh, competition in nigeria and the finals in ghana so when are we likely to have that uh, with regard to uh, the pace on which you're working on? Pardon, please. Mr. Suleiman. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Pardon, please. Can you come again? Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Um, can you come again? Yeah. So there are a number of things which you need to work on, and I'm sure you have allocated the time which you need to do the in-campus competition, and uh, the time which you uh, we need to visit is it Nigeria and Ghana. So when are we likely to have the in-campus competitions and when are we likely to have the competitions, uh, the competition in Ghana? Uh, yeah, yeah, in regards to that question, uh, I think as of now, uh, we are waiting for the final approval of the kick on of the competition which is the start so as soon as the on campus program has been announced the date the date is being fixed and then it is alone it is well oh, uh, different campuses are executing the on campus program that the international council are going to fix the date uh for the regionals and then subsequently for the finals in ghana so that is how it should be so we are hoping that and optimistic that it is it, it will, it's going to be fixed within the week that is this week and then maybe possibly after uh, uh, well executing the campus programs, those participants, then the date for the regional in Abuja is going to be announced by the International Council. So also the finals in Ghana for the qualifiers to attend. Okay, thank you so much for uh, that update. I'm sure our members um, will, will go through this recording and be able to get what we have said so far. Uh, and I wish to make mention that um, yesterday we, uh, yesterday uh, the chairman uploaded the membership link on our website. You may request our members to uh, fill in their details uh, as far as membership is concerned. Yeah, so if you have not filled in this link of membership, uh, you won't be considered as a member of AUSA. So we request each and every person to fill in the link. And we also request you to be joined, to be logging in, uh, to be visiting our website, um, you know, frequently for the updates. Yeah. So, you know, we are an international, non-governmental, non-partisan 
and we also rely on the funds, on the donations from either our members or any other international organizations. So we have a link just at the bottom of the website, which says donate. So those who are willing to donate, they can do so, so that we can make our precious you know, organization keep running. You know, there's no organization which can operate without funding. So we are also requesting any well wishes to do that. And yeah, thank you so much. Um, I think that being said, I will request the members who have attended to ask any questions, if there are any. Any questions with what oh, so we have to this issue of... Uh... Yeah. Can, can you hear me? Mr. Suleiman. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yes, can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, in regards to the issue of uh, forms for membership. Yeah, in regards to the issue of form for membership for registration, uh, is it mainly for the ambassadors or any member of ASA from different campuses can also register to be recognized as member? Or is it mainly for ambassadors and international council members? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so this uh, membership form is for every member, everybody who wants to join us. So as ambassadors, it is your duty to share this information with your members that ALSA is now requesting for each and every member to be registered under the organization. If you're not on our database, then you won't be regarded as a member of ALSA. So we request all the ambassadors to tell all their all the members in their respective organ uh, uh, institutions to tell their members that they need to register um, uh, as far as this form is concerned. So I hope okay. I've answered your question. Okay. Yeah, any other question? Okay, um, can yeah, I ask yeah, something? Yeah, that's very okay. Can I add something to what you've said, Laxen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I think you've dealt with the 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 issue on membership extensively, and I just have something small to add to the extent that the link that was released yesterday is to help foster and have a strong database of all members of the association across board. All right. So for instance, at the ambassadors, you may have you might have taken steps, okay, to gather um, um membership data at the chapter level. That is not to say that people who have already registered at the chapter level are ex stopped, you know, from doing further registration. This registration data or data consists of persons who are going to click the link and register. It is going to be monitored by the International Council. But the one that maybe an ambassador might have taken at the um, 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 university chapters is only limited to that of the um, um, university campuses that they will also base on that data to conduct the activities at the university level. So now, this link that have been released, it is all to all members of the association, and also even whether you're a law student or a non-law student, because per the ASA constitution, per Article 3 or so, it permits people who are not even law students but have interest in the association, have interest in the programs we run to become members. So as you are sharing with law students, you also can also share with non-law students who have interest in our, um, in our activity, sorry. Because I've even had I mean, a lot of non-law students who have approached me, you know, when I updated it or when I put it on my state or that day, can they register? I told them, yes, you are, once you have interest, you can register. And one other thing is that, and this goes to um, most especially the law student, you know, also have this particular program called also Emergency Fund. The emergency fund is to, to cushion law students who are stranded or who cannot um, 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 continue with their education because of financial crisis. And you cannot claim some of these benefits, okay? 
We cannot give you a money without you telling us that you are a member. And to become a member, you have to register. And that's why the link is so much important. And we are also going to issue membership certificates through the link that people are going to click and then register to be recognized also by the ASA International Council. So the link that have been released is so much important and I'll urge every, each and everyone, you know, to register through that link as well, regardless of the fact that you've registered the national level or the university chapter. So this is what I have to say at this, at this point in time. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I, yes, Mr. Azza. Uh, uh, please, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, sir, my question goes uh, under the, the competition program. So I may like to find out what is the sentence for the people that are not on campus. They are law students, they are, they are not on campus right now. Okay, but they are, they are members, they are registered members. So what is their own sentence? How to participate for the competition? Okay, uh, thank you so much. Mr. Solomon, would you like to attempt on that one? Mr. Solomon? Mr. James, would you like to attempt uh, that question? Okay, um, let me attend to that question. I think um, this question, I once asked the, this question even when the, um, the problem, the question and everything, the deadline, everything was forwarded to me. Now the thing, the program, uh, the modalities of the competition, it is gonna be both virtual and, and in-person, okay? So for instance, so for instance, if you have if you have people who have challenges in meeting in person, you are given the opportunity to join the competition via um, 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 virtual means, okay, Zoom or any other virtual means that are going to be prescribed by the um, committee of the competition. Now you may even ask that the competition is not only going to happen in Nigeria because you have people from Lesotho, you have people from Zambia, Cameroon, you know, who have also registered. So for instance, how is it going to happen? So the in-person program, most of them are going to take place in, in Nigeria, okay? But people who cannot um, do it in person, we give them the opportunity to join via through, um, um, through like a virtual means. So you've registered already. These are the team, the, the, the team, the team players, okay? You're in your home, they're also in their home. So you can have a meeting through online and know how to present your staff. And when it is time, you can all still log into the system and present your case without any hindrances. So these are some of the information I'm privy to and we've discussed at the preliminary stage. So, so this is what I can say in response to his question. Unless Suleiman um, has something to say, um, is, if he's here, yes, I think he's here. Do you have any other thing to add? I don't know if the question is really answered though. Is, is that okay? But these are the processes or the uh, things that you've uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think you have uh, really answered the question very correct. Okay, okay, thank you. And, and, and in addition, uh, those who not be able to, uh, those who cannot be able to participate physically or who are not uh, presently on campus or in the school as of uh, right now can participate as we have just mentioned, uh, virtually understand so that's what it should be so but uh even if the finalists at the on-campus program uh cannot be able to make it look Mr. James, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, so I think Suleiman is having issues with matrix. So yes. 
that is correct. But I think yeah. I think the question the question has been answered. The other alternative for pe for people who not be unable like to meet in person is by um, um virtual. You know they can they, they will join by um 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 Zoom or Webex or any other thing that will be um um reasonable at that point in time. In the question which he posed, I I think I heard something like. Uh, those who are not law students and but they are lawyers, uh, how can we accommodate them? Oh, that's a different question. Yeah, in that same question, there was he, he addressed something like uh, those who are not law students but they mm -hmm. want to participate in the competition. How do we help them? Okay, okay. Um, Yes, you know, um, with this particular competition, it's not even, you have a lot of people who will be willing to participate, okay? But I don't know you have to come up with a strong team that you, you believe in yourself that, yes, this team is unbeatable. They are going to be able to win all other teams and get to the finals. So now, whether or not the person is um, a law student, I don't think it's in contention because our constitution, as I've already said, we permit people who are even not law students, but, have the interest in participating in our activities. The issue that should be asked over here is that how much in depth are these persons who are not law students be able, would, would they be able, you know, to, to appreciate the fact that are going to be given out in order to articulate very well, regardless of the fact that they are going to train them, this is how the law is, you know, experience or being on the field sometimes, sometimes counts a lot. So you may, you may include them in the team, maybe as researchers, you know, or as standbys, whenever there is an unforeseen event in the sense that the main team cannot participate, then they will come in, that is okay. But if you also have belief in them that they are not law students, you know, and they have the, the, the broader knowledge of the question to be put out there and they can present the case just like any other law student can do, there's no harm in doing that. So you can bring them on board. Once they are members of the association, they, they qualify to, to stand to, to, to do anything at all so far this competition is concerned. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. James. I think we have exhausted almost everything which we wanted to address today. Unless we have any other questions, uh, then you can come in uh, before we close our meeting so that they can yes, be answered yeah. before our meeting. Any question, please? Yes, there, there is one information, please, before we round up. Yes, yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In regards to uh, the issue of uh, maybe starting the competition, uh, like I said, uh, maybe our, uh, uh, Mr. James uh, is going to maybe contact the uh, agency, we should be doing within the week. And then we are going to maybe possibly, I'm hoping that possibly by within the, within the week also, uh, we are going to like start the release of flyers in regards to the competition. And all the institutions that have uh, declared their interest to participate uh, also see their uh, institution there uh, in our flyers. And then, I think in regards to that issue, uh, in regards to the competition, is going to be released uh, through the flyers very soon so that we can be able to uh, ravage this uh, social media with the uh, this income. So maybe. Uh, that is so, so because he is the head uh, uh, under the committee for the organization uh, of the competition. But uh, at first, uh, it was strict to uh meant mainly for only those who are students, understand? So it is only meant for students who are currently pursuing their studies uh, at their various institutions. So I don't know, maybe, maybe that one is going to be deliberated later uh, with the International Council, but I think uh, that is uh, what 
uh, it is contained uh, in, the, in, in the modality of moves, but at the release of the facts to different institutions so that they start executing their on campus programs. But initially, it was specifically meant for only students who are presently pursuing their education from their various institutions. So this is, I think, uh, something that I have to say before we conclude the meeting. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Mr. Suleiman. So um, we can uh, reconsider those who won't be able to, who are not in campus. So as long as you come in with a strong team and you're willing to participate, then the International Council will sit down and reconsider that, okay? And like I have stated, this is, uh, that will be subject to the approval of the International Council. So I think we have exhausted everything. You know, ASA is a very good uh, organization with excellent, you know, initiatives. Uh, we request all our members to take part in uh, every competition that we bring forth. You know, let us do our very best. Let us work towards you know, improving uh, the legal welfare of uh, our beautiful continent. Uh, let us put in our very best. Let us, you know, unite. Africa will never un get united if we don't unite, if we don't work uh, within, if we don't, you know, operate in our intra uh, cooperation, if we are not uh, eager to cooperate as students. So this must be must begin with us. The moment we are able to unite, then Africa is Africa will unite. You know, Africa has been so divided for a long time, and it is within these organizations such as the African Law Students Association that we are able to unite Africa and build it to the very best. At this point in time, unless there are any other contributions allow me to close our meeting yes yes there, there is please uh, just one more thing mr Suleiman. yes uh, there's there's just one one more thing please if possible yes yes go ahead yeah in, in this issue that we have just uh, talked about uh, it, it's really beautiful and i'm very very amazing uh, it, it reminds me of my previous experience uh, when we once uh, uh, gathered at one uh, very uh, important occasion whereby people come from different uh, places in Africa. So uh, that kind of uh, networking with different people from different places is something very wonderful and amazing. And I'm hoping that I'm still using, uh, utilizing this happenstance uh, to call upon our ambassadors like uh, to see that those who have uh, one at the final on campus program should try as much as possible as they could to see that they attend the regionals in Abuja uh, because it's, it's, an, it's, a, it's a gathering that's going to be like something very wow and amazing because people from different places, from different countries will come and network and there is exposure opportunities, there is networking, there is a lot of things we said. So to be honest, uh, this is something that is going to make us uh, meet each and everyone face to face, just interact, share ideas, uh, you, you understand. So it's something very, very amazing and very scintillating, I confess. So thank you very much for, bring, for bringing this issue up. Uh, and I hope that our ambassadors are going to heed to this, and then they should come forward and participate at the regional summit of the competition if possible. So thank you very much for the organization of this uh, wonderful and beautiful meeting, Mr. Lofson. Yeah, thank you so much. I think networking is something which we all really need to appreciate. Uh, networking builds us. Uh, personally, I can assure you that I have found good people through this same house, this international organization. I've been able to network with Mr. James, uh, Mr. Tiku, among other organizations which have been interested and in, in, in also. Um, I think 
uh, at this point in time, unless the vice president for administration, Mr. James, has something to say uh, before I close this meeting? Um, you um, thank you. Say okay, thank you. Thank you so much, our, our very own um, the Secretary General himself, um, for this great um, um, press um, that you've, 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 you've initiated, you know, I'm so much grateful and I'm so much glad that um, at least we have people who log in to, to listen to what you have to say. And what I just want to say is that even if you're unable to log in here and, and, and listen to what we have to say, it is still available because you are streaming live on Facebook. And I have to also say that African Law Students Association is all, all, on all major social media platforms, okay? So you can follow our activities across across the globe via um, in LinkedIn, it is African Law Student Association. Um, Facebook, it is African Law Student Association. Um, it's Telegram, sorry, Telegram, it is African Law Student Association. Um, we are also on Instagram, okay? And Twitter too as well. So follow us and get updated on the wonderful programs that we are we are running and enlighten your 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 knowledge and broaden your scope to as well. Thank you so much. I'm Laxton, um, Suleiman, and Abu Bakar Abdullah, um, Abdullah, you know, for for joining this particular section for today. So over to you, um, our indefatigable, you know, um, um, Secretary General. Thank you. I have a good evening. Uh, thank you so much. I think we close from here. Uh, have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on where you're coming from. Um, thank you so much. All right. Bye. Bye. bye.